like to start out in these types of readings with what your ruler is going to be up to, what's going to be impacting you as far as your ruling planet. Um, your ruler starts out initially the month of April until about the April 5th in Pisces. And for you, this has to do, there's a dreamlike quality. There's a sense that in order for you to get what you want, to be monetarily compensated for your gifts, um, there's a sense that you need to move forward, and there's also a sense to me that um, you you want to attract your potential. So there's a sense that you're a little bit flirty, you're a little bit more emotional in this energy, you're a little bit more you're you're um, you're attaching to your hopes and dreams on a pleasure based. Um, sector of your brain. It's all about just pleasing yourself. You really want to feel good about your choices that you're making moving forward. Then your ruler um, for the rest of the month is going to drop into Aries. And for that, that's about immediate needs. What do I need to feel good? What do I need to be like, you know, this Venus rules money. And it's very important to understand what do you need, you know, on a very simplistic level. So this is about that immediate desire for you to feel happy, you know, for there to be a pleasure associated with it. You know that there's a couple of ways that we make changes. There's a couple of ways that we pursue life. There's, we pursue it based on um, pleasure, but we also uh, pursue it based on moving away from pain. So for you, you're going to be very, very initially it's just going to be very superficial about what you want. It's going to be based initially on that immediate environment to get through the day to, and to feel good um, as well. Now, this has to do a lot with the way that you are um, working through what some something that you're hesitating about. So for some of you, this is about moving forward, but this is about moving away from something that I think causes you distress. As we just went through all of that Pisces realization, it's a sense of, okay, now I know what I don't want. Now I know what I need. And so that's what you're going to be focusing on. And it's going to come from a very internal place. I think all of you have your own journey as far as this point goes, and it is going to be based on meeting your needs. So um, for the majority of the month, I see that. Um, you know, okay, so from about the first of the month until the seventh, you're going to have Venus conjunct with Chiron. It's important to know that um, Chiron is still in Pisces and Venus is in Aries at this point. So there's going to be just this sense that you're really going to be acknowledging the way that you feel about the way that you're moving forward. This is really going to align you with what you hope and what you desire for your outcome. It's going to make you reassess your friends and the, and the, and the pleasure that's associated with those friends. It's going to make you think, who do I need to align myself to get me what I want? I feel like this is a very materialistic energy for you, but more importantly, this is about aligning you and your environment with what you think that you deserve at this point. Um, Venus then is going to be in Aries. It's going to trine, um, Mars until about the 21st. Now, mind you, this trine is all about being a little bit more independent with your energy. This is about, um, looking at things from a broad spectrum and really envisioning your future with hope. You're making a lot of big changes. You're not scared to make these changes in this energy. You've got a lot of fire supporting, um, it on both sides of this energy. So there's a sense of, I mean, again, I think that this is more about the superficial, immediate environment, your needs and wants. And then we also have Venus and Aries, um, conjunct with Uranus from about April 14th to the end of the month. So this definitely gets down to individually separating myself from what people ex expect from me. What do I need? What makes me happy? It is this when when we dump into when we dump into Aries energy. This is a very passionate energy source. And it is it is stimulated by what you desire. I, on its most simplistic level. 
So you're evaluating your environment. And if it's not meeting your needs, you're going to be really spontaneous and ready to move on, make drastic changes in order to get what you want. So for some of you, this is a little bit of instability. Um, it depends on where your vibration lies at this point, what you're going to attach to. Now, I also like to do a new moon and a full moon um, report together because I think that the moon um, cycle should be done together. So initially, the new moon, you know, it, it, it has to do with new beginnings. And for you, you know, when Venus is in Aries at the time of the new moon, you, you're working in that realm of karma and you're working in the realm of moving away from the cumulative energy of the zodiac and moving toward the beginning. So there's that in-between spot that I think makes us think and reflect and it makes us really assess what we desire on an immediate level. It is actually at this point conjunct with Chiron, which is all about aligning you with your hopes, your needs, and your desires. So what I think you're really doing is really asking yourself the tough question. And you, and this doesn't have anything to do with other people or their expectations. This has to do with what you deeply desire at this point. So um, this has to do with making that change, bringing about an ending if you have to, bringing about a new beginning if you have to. But whatever you do, there's a sense of follow through with this because this is a fire-based energy. It is, it is very directional energy. Once you start on the path of whatever change that you need to make, there's a sense to me that it, the follow through is going to be one of those immediate follow throughs. You're going to want to react without considering the consequences because most of this is going to be um, based on what you, you pleasurably want as an outcome. But what I really want you to be mindful of the fact is that you're trying to move away from fear and of pain and you're trying to move forward and make a difference in your life and that's a really positive new beginning. Um, then we also have the full moon that's going to be happening on April 21st. And for you, this has to do with your relationships. Now, relationships don't necessarily have to mean that if you're not in an established bond, that, you know, um, that it, it doesn't impact you. It absolutely does, because we're in relationship with every human being on this planet. If we work next to somebody and we work next to them eight hours a day, then we're building a relationship. We're building some sort of trust and we're building some sort of unity uh, with that person or we're actually excluding them from our inner circle based on our interpretation of our environment. So it's very important that we're assessing this. And for you, this is actually going down to the levels of, you know, where do you seek security and a time to meet your immediate needs? For some of you, this is about aligning yourselves to meet your needs at this point. Um, this is about somebody that you are hoping that will understand you on a deep level, somebody that you can confide in even your darkest, darkest thoughts or your lightest thoughts, your hopes and your dreams. That's your, This is about change. This is about making those erratic movements that can possibly change outcomes. So for you, I think change is definitely on the menu, but this goes down to the it's a very intense feeling. I feel like you're going to feel very intensely passionate in some sort of direction, whichever way you're going. But it definitely has something to do with relationships and where you see yourself moving forward and moving away from the past. Um, I do believe that for some of you falling into the neg forms and negative form of vibration, I believe what this has to do with is um, that fear of expansion that fear of the lack of control over that how how things are moving in the direction that they're moving in i feel like for some of you i think that there could be some hidden resentment toward a partner that's pushing you to make some of these changes you just have to be very very mindful of the cumulative ending in this energy the ending is is that things can't stay the same they can't stay the same for you they've got to move forward you know, um, with Venus in the very first sign, your ruler in the very first sign means that you're initiating a new beginning and you're moving away from something. And sometimes that can create some sort of unconscious um, fear that, you know, this new beginning could not meet your expectations because, you know, disappointment has has been longstanding in many of our energies. And so I feel like you may be just, you know, 
having that problem with that personal power. Can I do it? Can I meet expectation? You know, and then it brings forth fears and the realization that, you know, for some of you, this is about really honestly assessing whether or not you have what it takes, I guess, for many of you. Um, some interesting Taurus energy that I think you need to be mindful of just because I think it's important to understand what other Taurus influences you have out there. We have Mercury dropping into Taurus, which is on April 5th. That's going to be in that house. So you really aligning your identity with what you, what you see yourself as your thoughts are aligning with what you desire and what you want on an immediate level. This really has to do with what you, what you value at this time. I'm not saying that it's going to change because it might, but I'm saying that it deeply has the possibility of um, transforming your mindsets, especially when you're reassessing where you want to be. Um, we also have the sun dropping into Taurus. So again, you are aligning your desires with the way that you think and interpret your environment. You really want these all to match. If there is any sort, sort of issue where you do not feel like you're feeling the amount of pleasure that you desire, because we have a lot of Aries and, and energy as well, then you're going to make some drastic changes with your your ruler um, conjunct um, Uranus. You're going to make some drastic changes to get what you want. For some people, that can look like there's a little bit of instability in your consistency, but for you, you're just meeting your needs and you know exactly what you want, and intuitively, you're being guided to make these changes. So this isn't about pleasing others. It is about pleasing yourself and establishing what you deeply want and desire out of your own energy, out of your out of your own life. And it is about making those drastic changes that it needs to, to generate happiness for you on a very simplistic level. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again.